I'm Jimmy Demetro uh, in New York City with my Hellenic Film Society colleague, Mary Miles. And together we have the pleasure of speaking with three formidable, talented women uh, who are in Athens and they have joined together to make a most impressive film uh, that Greek audiences have uh, responded to wholeheartedly. Uh, I'm talking about The Murderess, uh, the Greek title, of course, Fornisa, based on the novella by uh, Alexandros Papadiamandis. Um, it was uh, published in 1903 and has become a classic of modern Greek literature. Uh, the novella is an indictment of patriarchy, the dowry system, and feminicide. The story focuses on uh, Hadula, a woman who is driven to despair over the fate of women in her island community where girls are seen as a burden and are better dead. Uh, and so she sets out to uh, deliver the little girls of her village from uh, a life of servitude. Um, Mary, why don't you uh, introduce our guests? Gladly, and I'm very excited to be having this interview today. So let's start with the maestra of the film, the director. Um, Ivan Athena uh, has worked in costume design and production design on over hundreds of plays and films. Uh, she's worked on ancient Greek dramas presented at the Epidavro and other many ancient theaters. Um, she worked here in New York at the New York Metropolitan Opera with Costas Gavras for all around is light and dozens of films uh, as production designer and costume designer in films like Acropole with Padelis Bulgaris. Um, and you've also won the State Greek Film Award for Best Costume Design for Playing Parts set in the Byzantine era by Panayotis Portokalakis, Brides by Padelis Bulgaris, where I should note the production was so big she had over 3,500 costumes and Urania, or Urania, yeah. uh, by, by Costas Capacas. Um, Cariofilia Carabetti, I feel, needs no introduction. She is a renowned and critically acclaimed actress. Uh, she's worked in theater, television, film. She's captivated audiences with her every performance. She's been nominated for a Hellenic Film Academy Award for her performance in and if you've seen the movie, you will never forget it. Her extraordinary work ranges from Man of God, The Audience, Eftihia, Istanbul, My Love, and many, many other works. Her, her work leaves an indelible impression on the viewer, and we couldn't be happier to have her with us today. And Katerina Bey, the extraordinary writer of the screenplay, who has done so much work in adaptation and for television and film. Uh, she also uh, wrote Eftihia, Success Story, Pedro Nula, A Night in Athens, and many other works. This is a true triumvirate of women, and uh, I'm very pleased to have you here. And I'd like to start first with Eva. And if you can put us in the climate of this film, it took you 10 years to get this done. How did you make the decision to, to carry on for 10 years and to undertake directing? Well, it was 10, 10 years by my own. I mean, a lonely work, and, but it was another three years with collaborators. Uh, of course, Katerina for the very first time and then Kalibria also. So it's 13 years. Um, and uh, to, 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 to have this project done. It was, it was, it was a certain decision. It was, it was something that uh, it took me many years to realize why I was so um, affected by this hero. Uh, it was um, her traumas, her traumas that uh, was so close to my mother's traumas uh, that it was uh, something like destiny for me to do this and I didn't realize it from the very first time. It was at the time of the rehearsals, I got this, this like an unsecret, something unsecret in my mind. And it was a great 
a, a great time for me to, to realize why I, did I ever want it so passionately to, to do this uh, this uh, uh, book uh, transfer it in a movie. So the decision was uh, taken for me at uh, uh, 20... Zero nine, something like that, that uh, I got a present uh, from my husband, a laptop, and I created a, an archive of all my notes and all my thoughts. Because for years I had um, many readings of this book. I mean, I, 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 I was uh, coming back and back and uh, reading it again and again and again from the age of 18, because at the very first time it, I got frightened. Uh, because I didn't want to have a, any relationship with a woman who kills babies. And then at the age of 18, when I was a student, and I was uh, trying to realize uh, and discover, you know, uh, the world, <laughs> I started doing something very deeper, much deeper than the first, uh, you know, reading. And then I realized this unique thing that uh, was so... Uh, 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 why I was uh, identified with this novel. And uh, as I said, it was my mother's traumas. Um, that, that one with the dowry, the very important issue that has tortures, tortured so many people at the past. Uh, and I dare to tell it that, to tell that it, it tortures even now people. <laughs> This time, and the, the other issue that was um, a, a, a woman giving birth to girls that it was a very, you know, bad thing at that ages. So um, I started reading again and again because I realized I was studying arts at the School of Fine Arts then, and I was discovering um, the secrets beneath under the the statues and all these uh, special uh, creative uh, uh, sculptures the ancient people gave to us. And uh, I was trying to discover the truth and the, the, the secrets to, every, to everything I had to relate to. So it was then that uh, I realized that there are two different wor uh, worlds, but two different language for sure. The one of Papa Diamandis' language was the, the 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 speaking language, which is it was understandable. It I could understand it, but the other language was the discourse language. This Papa Diamandis' discourse language, which was so difficult and so fascinating at the same time, and uh, because I had studied music for several years, I started speaking it and hear me it and I, I realized that the, in this language he has he has hide um, sound landscapes or something and then I tried to transfer them to painting landscapes or or, or you know um, places or or something and then I started translate this language, this discourse, Papa Diamandis discourse language, to art, to translate. This was the risk I took. And th that was why I took uh, the script uh, in some way from Katerina's hands, because I had to put this part of the work in the script. I mean, to, to, to transfer the, 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 the discourse language, the, 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 the landscapes, the, the art, part of the, of the movie to the script because it was a language that um, was ambitious. It, it, was, it, was, it was very high risk for me, but it, 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 I really wanted to communicate this novel by this language. So that was the risk I took so many years before, but, and it was so hard, it was so difficult, believe me. But when I had the, uh, these uh, collaborators with me three years before, it started to become, you know, because <laughs> it was not all, all in my shoulders, uh, it started to become more easier and more easier. And uh, we relieved a lot, we worked a lot, we changed our minds a lot. 
and uh, we went deep and deep and deep and that was a way well it's extraordinary on many levels as you said the the written word the visual image the sound of the film every every texture every sense is engaged Katerina I know Jimmy and I were having this conversation and he was wondering how uh difficult or what were the challenges in adapting this book that so many Greeks know and it's it's a, a book that most of the population has read every new project has uh, for me has the main, uh, has a challenge okay because you have to uh, communicate uh, what you want to say to the audience and this is a challenge uh, itself uh, i mean of course uh, of doing uh, the adaptation you know, on papadiamadis book it's uh, a great challenge and it's a, it's a reason not to do it <laughs> because it's uh, uh, this uh, uh, so important book but uh, in our uh, profession either you do it or you don't do it you don't i mean it's a state of mind either you take the risk or you don't take the risk on the other side uh, eva is uh, was always very specific and very passionate uh, with this project and she shared this uh, passion to everybody so you can't say no to Eva and <laughs> uh, so we started uh, meetings and uh, again meetings and we do it this way or that way and all this process and at at the end, we were also very lucky because we we asked many people, many scientists, professors, and uh, we were lucky of what we found because we we managed to to see the the novel in a modern pr perspective in the eyes of uh, 2022. Uh, so uh, we explained uh, things that uh, they were said in a covered way and we tried to find the soul of the project, not what is written, but what was not written also. Well, a, a lot has changed in Greece, obviously, uh, from the time when the, the novel was written. Yeah. It, it serves as a way of expressing the origins, the origins of, of uh, Greek culture, where we are today and uh, the way we think about uh, about certain subjects today uh, you can almost trace the the uh, the evolution of the new ideas from this examination of of the older ones uh, i i wanted to to just say that i think the extraordinary achievement of the film is that when i i know when i saw it i had the feeling that everything that possibly could be done to get things right to get things done well it, we're done and and it's just it's just perfect every frame every minute of the film has a has a you can see that that there are people thinking about what they're doing and 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 it becomes very obvious to me at least that you wanted to get it right and you've done that and that that's really the triumph of, of the film and, and this is why i'm i'm so impressed with the three of you because clearly it's a collaboration all three of you have met uh, 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 just have achieved this union of of of, uh, of personalities and talents and ideas, and it works. Uh, it works brilliantly in the film. I must say, quite an achievement. Uh, I would like to ask uh, Karofilia uh, about how how you go about choosing a, a, a role. Uh, this this is a very difficult character uh, to play. It, it's a woman. How can we say it? she? Khadula is is ferocious in her womanhood. I don't know. Do you play her as a mad woman? Do you play her as a, as a heroine? Uh, is she is she a, an Antigone, a Hecuba, or is she uh, uh, just uh, uh, insane? Uh, how do you how do you work all this out and? And so that you're comfortable with the role, the interpretation that you give to the role. There are so many studies about this novel, and uh, we had long discussions with Eva, 
about uh, uh, the point of view that we were um, we wanted to look at this uh, character. Um, it has um, elements of Greek tragedy and said Greek, yeah, absolutely, yeah, as yeah. you just mentioned before. Um, but um, you know, um, we wanted to um, present her like a woman who is not a criminal, who does not um, take um, pleasure. Uh, through her, uh, by her uh, crimes, but um, being a, a victim herself uh, of the patriarchy, um, she has lived a very hard um, woman's life. So, and watching around the um, big violence towards women, uh, she thinks that um, through these murders, uh, she actually um, makes a gift to these young uh, female babies. Uh, she thinks uh, she sets them free because she does not want them to live such a cruel and uh, harsh life. Um, this was very, very difficult for me to um, uh, bring it, you know, uh, into the movie um, because I had to struggle between uh, different emotions, contradictory emo emotions, and also um, uh, we did not want to justify her and her actions. Um, we just wanted to show the audience um, who the real uh, um, moral author is behind these crimes, her crimes, um, that it's actually the social violence which mm -hmm. arms her hands. She, she, so, she has logic for her actions. There's a logic yes, for her actions. Uh, 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 of course. Yeah. And uh, she always communicates with God. She prays a lot and she has a big uh, religious um, sentiment, feeling. And uh, she always asks God and herself if she is doing the real thing. In Papadimandis' uh, novel, it's very obvious that she thinks that she does the um, God's will uh, by killing these little babies. This is, of course, a big contradiction because our religion does not allow uh, the crime against life to take lives. But um, this shows how difficult was the position of um, women at her era, and of course, how difficult it is right now. And this is what we wanted to talk about in the post-epidemic society um, and uh, um, watching the rates of uh, feminicide to get higher and higher, uh, we thought that it was our um, duty to, as women and as citizens of this world, to talk about this big social uh, phenomenon and problem. So we thought that um, this uh, story and the book of Papa Diamandis was a good um, vehicle to, uh, to talk about these big issues. Yeah. And, I, and I must say, uh, your performance is extraordinary. Uh, it, it, it's probably going to be the defining role of your career, just as I thought FTKM would have been the defining role, but you have done yourself. And uh, that leads me, I think, to another question: uh, How do you how do you choose your roles? How, what do you what do you look for? What is the ideal role for you? Uh, uh, what how do you decide this is right for me? How how do you make that decision? First, I look at the script, and uh, I always want uh, the script to tell something to the audience to have a social purpose. Uh, to have a good purpose for uh, um, being, uh, you know, worthy to um, to work on it, and uh, of course there is also the production value, the artistic production value, 
and um, the people with whom I have to cooperate. I want to admire their work. And um, because, you know, uh, it doesn't make sense if uh, you have a really good story, but the people involving into it uh, are not really good in their uh, work. So I always um, try to have, you know, um, the combination of the... A collaborative experience, yeah. obviously. Right. Oh. I don't really mind if my part is, for example, small. Uh, um, it's, it's okay for me if uh, it has things to say. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, a, that's a wonderful thing. We've talked about this before. Mary and I have, have discussed this endlessly. Uh, uh, the fact that what's important is the role. It doesn't have to be the lead. Uh, every yeah. role has its value if the project is worth doing. And that, that's a wonderful thing that Greek actors uh, generally adhere to. Um, it's not so much being the star as, as doing the part you have to do well. And that, no, and no, that, no, I that, don't. Uh, yeah, I'm exactly. Doing, very, very interesting. I very interesting. Yeah. But you, you have, nevertheless, having said that, you have distinguished yourself as a, as a leading lady uh, in, the, in Greek cinema. And uh, it's always a pleasure to look forward to your performances. Uh, you, you achieved uh, noticeably, notably, I should say. I'd like to ask Katerina. Katerina mentioned her mom and revisiting her mother's life and Eva. the ancestral. Eva mentioned her mom. Yes, Eva. thank you. Eva did. And um, the question is, how did you and Katerina work together in, in bringing her mother and manifesting her as a character uh, versus a voice in her head or a voiceover? We actually get the physical representation of Hadula's mother throughout the film. Well, well, when I, well, the, the idea was, you know, started to become true. I mean, three years before, it was uh, 25 of March. Uh, we were in Epidaurus uh, uh, during the, this uh, difficult period of coronavirus that we were closed in our houses and our homes without hope, knowing nothing about, about the future. Everything would appear being a utopia or something. Even even this uh, creation of this movie, of the creation of this movie. So it became like a dream, but not only mine dream. It was uh, it, it it looked to to, to appear to, to to can that it could be a Karyofilia's dream and a, a special company we shared it. And um, that was the night I called Katerina Bay and uh, I asked her to start writing the script, the screenplay. And Katerina did the right thing that what she should do. She she transferred the novel to a, a very nice and a very good script. But it was this uh, a strange idea I had from the very first time because of my mother, that it was the exactly opposite of this, of Hadula's mother. <laughs> she was a very kind person. But uh, I had always this idea that we are our in inscriptions. I mean, we are all the things we we were grown up with. Uh, our civilization is our inscriptions. Our lives is our inscriptions. So I started asking myself what Hadula had as any inscription. And I realized that it was not here active only, it was her mother's life and her grandmother's life. It's like a chain of women. And um, I had this idea and I told Katerina that I asked her to add this person because um, I I just wanted to, 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 to treat this heroine, uh, Hadula, as Papa Diamandis did, as a positive person as a person that didn't want to harm people, didn't want to do something harmful or to, to, to kill. It was another thing that forced her doing this. So it was like her mother was, we, we put it all the, all the blame to her mother because that's, that's what we thought it would be right. And we had this character being alive in, next to her um, forcing her to do something 
it was like a game of mind or something and um, they had this uh, excellent scenes with Maria Protopapa, uh, which was the main actress of in the part of her mother and um, but the, the, the very the very difficult decision we made we all had to, to, to take was that uh, we didn't want it to to describe in this movie in this film the the violence the violence the violent things that uh, um, men uh, gave to, to 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 women the I mean the abuse and all this this the the, the difficult part of us was that the I and Katarina, of course, wanted to say the other abuse, that this, 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 uh, this uh, violent things that we, women gave to women. That was a difficult part for us because they gave real uh, abusing uh, uh, things to, to their children, to their girls, these mothers, these women of that period. And uh, they were forced, their hands were forced to do it because their mothers had given them this thing exactly. And it, it, it was like a path, it was like a, it was like a destiny for these women. And it was very hard for us to, to have to describe this, but this was, this was truth. I mean, these women um, were growing her, their girls in another way, in this way that we show at the movie, and their boys in a different other way. And they created something like, you know, different parts of people, women and boys. And when people create uh, uh, behaviors like this, separate, you know, women from men, it's something very difficult in this age that we live now to ask these people from enemies that have grown up, I say, it, you know, uh, to, to become friends and to become partners. So that was the real problem I had to, 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 to examine at this movie. That was the real thing I wanted to show. And uh, of course, we had many, many, many conversations and it was a, a work in progress for many people and with Katerina's writing you know, down uh, and uh, many different uh, things that we change again and again and again in order to show the 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 deeper things of the movie of the of the sorry of the novel. I mean, Papa Diamandis at this period uh, tried to say what a historical letter had appeared many years before, so sixty seven years before. Uh, from the, the other island that, that was very close to Skiathos, his birthplace, Skopelos. Um, the people there sent it a letter to the government and asked to the government to, to stop this uh, law of dowry in order to stop, to, 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 to be stopped, to, to the, 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 all these crimes against the, the babies that were, were girls. But the government didn't uh, took this, you know, chance or this duty or something. And then Papa Diamandis, almost 70 years later, yeah. he writes this novel because he suffers. He really suffers from this thing. It's a social thing that it's 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 so so you know hard. It's he suffers. And and we he, he can we can see, we can realize because we see it. And uh, he he describes a very um, a very uh, a heroine doing this just why like just put in a mirror in the society and say you see why she does this because we all do this and that 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 was an explanation to me and to Katerina of course and to all the collaborators to explain one hundred and twenty years after his novel was written because it didn't, it wouldn't worth to say other things instead of these things that he wanted to appear or to hide because it was not the period that you, you would appear something like different. Papa Diamant would, didn't want to appear something like a prophet or, or prophet and, to, and say, um, I will show to you that if we don't 
face to these things, it will sometimes it will come and it will be very hard for people to live together. It will be very hard for women not to be abused from men because it's this is this is a, a, a wrong path. This is this is not the right way to to for, for the for the for men and women to live together. So let's say that we as Katerina said that we had to appear, we had to show what was written, but mostly what was not written, what was hidden, what was like a secret in, in small words of him, small words. And maybe it was, uh, the risk was uh, this uh, uh, discourse language of Papa Diamandis taken by me, but the other risk was to tell the, the truth. At this part of history, we, we believed we had to, like a duty, as Cardiophilia said. It was like a duty for us. Let me say something. Uh, um, uh, Papa Diamandis uh, didn't write a novel about a, a female serial killer that she enjoyed uh, killing uh, female uh, b uh, babies. Uh, he uh, he describes uh, the murderers as a, a social novel. This means that he wanted to speak about so something social, not about this only woman that did this. He wanted to speak about the society and how they they lived after after this uh, condition. Uh, if they have uh, too many female girls in the same family they killed them because they they couldn't raise them and uh, what i wrote uh, what i read uh, um, some uh, months ago after the after the movie was on they they sent me and i read an article that said in india now in a, a very small uh, and uh, deserted uh, villages uh, there is a law that every woman, when every woman uh, is getting pregnant, uh, the man of the family he he starts uh, digging a, a hole. If uh, the baby is a boy, he puts a, a, the seed of the tree. He 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 he. That's a tree. <laughs> uh, if it's a girl, girl, yes, where is the girl? And oh. this is this is happens t till now, eh? Absolutely. I mean, domestic abuse is rampant throughout the entire world. Feminicide rates are rising in Western societies. We have to look at ourselves first. And the dowry system still exists in many parts of the world. Um, the state of women is not good, quite frankly, around the world. As much progress as we've made. And I think that Baba Diamandis was extraordinary, a champion of true women 120 years ago. Um, his words and his story resonate. And the fact that Khadula was not made to be this evil, horrible person doing terrible things, but she was a product of her society, of her culture, and truly enacting what men wanted. It was the fathers of the family that asked her to. And Cariofilia, that brings me to you, which is you were the midwife of the village. Your character is the midwife. And you see her experiencing great joy in bringing life into the world. Um, she cares for the mothers. She cares for the infants. There's true love and joy in this woman. She's a hard woman, hardened by life, living in a very difficult time in a village. Um, but she's also tasked with killing these infants. How did you, as a as a person, balance those emotions so that you can bring them to the screen with with such extraordinary balance. Like I never, I never uh, wanted to say what a horrible, what a horrible woman. I I found her justified, terrifyingly. I was terrified, but it it, it was so well balanced. Your performance was so well balanced. How did you find this within you? This was one of the most difficult tasks that I had ever um, to deal with during my career. Um, the, the gift of a new life should always bring joy and happiness to people. 
But since uh, uh, the family uh, has so many economical problems and uh, it uh, faces uh, poverty and these uh, cruel uh, dowry demands, uh, Hadula know, knows very well that um, the only solution is uh, to put an end to this new life. Uh, she does not like what she does. Uh, she uh, detests that cruel duty and um, her whole misery. But uh, since, as a woman, she knows very well how hard it is to live that kind of miserable life, um, she dares to walk deeper into the dark side. As I said before, she does these horrible things out of love for her victims. So um, I, I felt really very shocked um, about uh, by the degree of her uh, despair and pain because taking this hard decision to, um, to, to, to take lives out of uh, babies, it's the, the, the darkest, the cruelest thing uh, um, a person could ever think about. Uh, so for me, every day and every scene was uh, really a big bet about um, uh, this uh, difficult and uh, dangerous balance, because you said that you found it uh, here um, justified, but this was what we really tried not to accomplish, not to do, uh, but to, to give uh, to our audience uh, the um, uh, causes uh, about you know thinking and um, trying to uh, to put themselves in, in another uh, to make an, a step forward and leaving behind you know this patriarchic um, kind of uh, thing and uh, uh, thinking and um, because um, our societies our modern society needs to, uh, to, to, to become different. Uh, we need a, a better life for us and for our children. And this new world has to be based on uh, love and harmony. Tadina, may, I, I would like, first of all, to congratulate you. You did such a, 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 a wonderful adaptation uh, and I appreciate the difficulties that must have been. Is it easier to work with an original script or to adapt the script? Do you have any preference? What what seems to be an easier task of the two? For me, the, the, um, the most difficult uh, thing to do is uh, by a topic. Nothing else. Uh, uh, nothing else uh, is uh, so difficult uh, than this because you have to to put m so many 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 things uh, in a short uh, time uh, you have to you have to describe the, the whole period of life uh, 50 years or 70 years or and this is very difficult to make it feel as a movie other books as Fonisa it's not so difficult uh, technically because, okay, you just uh, have to discuss with your colleagues and uh, the director or the producer uh, what is the point of view and how we all f feel about uh, the movie and the script and how we, we want to do it. And, okay, you follow this path. You have... Uh, you have the book that is very very helpful, and you follow the uh, uh, the point of view that you decide. When it's an original script, 
it's based on a very strong idea uh, uh, because uh, in order to begin this uh, this uh, adventure to make a movie a script of a movie you have to have uh, something very strong that you believe very much so uh, you have the you have the urge to do it. I mean, I can't say this is difficult and this is not difficult. Every, 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 everything has uh, its difficulties and its, uh, um, you, you know. Uh, well, to your credit, you seem to handle it all very, very nicely. <laughs> and that's, that's a good thing. Depends on I, many, many things. I, I'm just one more. This is for all three of you. Was there ever, did you ever fear that the film would not find an audience? Uh, the, the subject matter, let's face it, is difficult. Uh, it, it's it's not, uh, it, it, were you ever worried that maybe the audience would not respond to, uh, to the story and not come to see the movie, uh, which luckily was not the case. It's an amazing success in Greece. Uh, was that ever a consideration? Uh, let me answer uh, first because I have okay. to. Every time you feel very, I feel very optimistic about. Uh, about the success of the film. Huh? Yes, yes, but uh, uh, you have to also think about synthesis. Uh, the situations, the situations. Yes, yes. circumstances. Yes, circumstances. Yeah, and it was uh, after COVID, many, many cinemas were closed in Athens also. Uh, the last uh, uh, Greek movie, uh, the year before, uh, that it was uh, uh, the best uh, um, the best uh, scene movie had only 40 or 50,000 tickets. So me, I was thinking we will be very, very happy if it was... Uh, 80,000, 100, it would be perfect. And this uh, it's movie... A, of course, I, it's a Yes, it's a yes. I, I was hoping uh, to speak to, firstly, women's heart, to understand and uh, feel the the heroine, not and uh, like not really like like her, but understand understand her, and um, to. To see what we saw and we loved this movie, but I never, I never thought of doing uh, almost uh, half a million tickets. But you did. I'm just curious: are there any statistics? Are there more women than men in the audience? Uh, are there the any statistics? The statistics, the statistics is so optimism. It, it's so, it's so uh, positive that you cannot imagine. I mean, uh, from these uh, tickets that we have done now. 80% is young people. We have the young audience. It, it, if that, if this oh, that's movie, interesting. Yes, that's wonderful. If this uh, movie speaks to young people, then we have hope because it's uh, students and uh, students of, uh, you know, uh, school of high school and students of universities that uh, has this 80% of the tickets. And this is unexpected. This is this is like a dream. That's movie. wonderful. Yes, indeed, it's very exciting. Well, very exciting. They, they identify with the movie in a, in a way. I know why. Now I know. Before I didn't know. I had no idea. But now I know why. Because I had so many Q and A's. It was a period of about three weeks that I went to the cinemas every night, every night, and I had Q and A's with the audience. And I was so surprised. I was so moved with the the, the, the young audience. Every 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 night that I the, the lights were on, and I faced these young people. I was so I was so happy. I was so grateful. You cannot imagine. And I had so so different and and wonderful questions, questions of life. You know. That it showed it, you they understood the film and, and, and they, uh, they, they empathize this people. Yes, they exactly. Empathize their 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 grandmothers and their grandfathers and all this, but they found a connection also to the to, to these days, to their to their anger that they don't know what where does it even become from? Why are these people angry? They they this movie made them realize. As I said to you, that we are our inscriptions. 
why they are angry. Why? Because they have the, their parents or their grandparents and, and uh, uh, grandmothers and grandfathers hadn't solved their problems. They gave, and they gave them to, to these people, to these young people, to, to, to solve what? They don't know. But, but it seems that they, they have some answers from this model. And they, they, they feel that they want to communicate with it. And they, they suggested one each other. I mean, I, I remember at the premiere, at the open, opening night, a great director here in Greece telling me, you know what? I didn't ask my friends, my women friends that are here. I asked their daughters, are you going to suggest this movie to a, a friend of yours? And they all said, four girls, you, you, you are kidding, see my mobile phone. I've sent it already, a text to, my, all, to all my friends to see, not to lose this movie. That was a great um, achievement. Yes, achievement. Yes, achievement. Yeah, I would think so. It's another, it's another tribute to the, to yes, the success of the film. Couldn't, they couldn't, I, couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't think, I couldn't believe, I couldn't hope. That this period very, movie very could, connect, could ever connect with his audience. So we are we are grateful. I I'm, I personally am so grateful. You cannot imagine. And, and we it's... should add that Onisa beat Barbie at the box office. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Both <laughs> feminine <laughs> statements of different kinds, but yeah, that was you know worldwide. <laughs> Yes, in Greece it did, and the Oppenheimer and the, and the Barbie also. In Greece, uh, actually, we, we we passed these tickets of Oppenheimer. Passed, yes, at, that's uh, good. That's exciting. <laughs> yes, it was four hundred and thirty something, and we passed it. And now we go to reach Barbie. Yes, we are going. We are going where well, we keep walking. <laughs> because, you know, it, it's, it's, it seems like it has a second career now because we, I'm invited by schools, from schools. Uh, and I'm, I'm just uh, starting to travel and go to every school they call me because that's my dream now. I want to speak to those, to those students because I want that exactly thing to say to them what I didn't hear. I didn't even hear it. I didn't even realize what was uh, uh, what was uh, uh, you know um, what was uh, this novel. I was not taught. I didn't. Uh, my teachers didn't teach me what was written in this novel. And if I knew, then maybe I would had a, another life. I believe it. It was uh, something. It it was a way for me to realize why I just wanted to have children at that age, why that I didn't want it to have it before, to have them before, why my mother's trauma was so effective to me. And it, it, I, 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 I knew so many things, I've read so many things in order to, to, to be able to teach them. And I didn't realize at the same time in which way I was carrying my mother's trauma. Uh, and uh, this was at the same time my, my, my passion to express it in this movie. So it was a revelation for me. It was, it was uh, something so, you know, it was a relief and uh, a revelation for me. And it seems well, it must to be, be very great. gratifying, obviously. Yeah, yes. I, I want, I know Mary and I want to thank you very much for your time and uh, for the wonderful work you've done. I hope we see you in New York when, uh, when the film uh, is shown here. Uh, it would be a pleasure to have you uh, here uh, to speak and meet the audiences in New York City. Uh, I know uh, you're on your way to San Francisco uh, for a screening there and I, 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 I I wish you every success. I'm sure uh, people will embrace the film there as, as enthusiastically as they have in Greece. Mary, do you have anything else you'd like to add? I have my last question. Okay. Uh, my last question is, if you could describe yourself today, who you are, in one word, what would it be? Wow. I'm glad uh, you're not asking me. <laughs> this is, this is a very difficult question, yes. Uh, a woman 
a crisis, a woman in um, wonder, why is uh, our world like this? Why um, these years that we live now uh, seem to be more uh, uh, harder than uh, uh, the years that we were younger? And um, I think that uh, our society needs, you know, we have to establish equality between the sexes. We have to establish equality between all the people, no matter uh, uh, the origin or the color or the sexual orientation or the social class. Um, we need to reconsider ourselves and our world. Well, that's more than one word, more Karofi, more yeah, but, the sentiment, one, but... <laughs> but the sentiment is so good that who, who are we to complain? That's lovely, lovely. Uh, okay. I think Eva is uh, is uh, is avoiding the question entirely. <laughs> as, as is but this, this is a difficult question, but let's say that uh, I feel uh, it's not that easy for me to answer in, in one word. If you if you allowed me, if you excuse me, but it's it's like uh, it's like I feel that I, um, now I'm a good part of each of this chain. I mean, I broke this chain that could bring uh, 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 my mother's trauma to my daughter, and that makes me happy. That makes me uh, feeling grateful. Uh, in, 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 in most ways, uh, because uh, I did it, I managed it. It was not so easy. It was a very difficult path to realize uh, how I carried all these, uh, you know, things. Um, I see so many people at the audience that didn't realize why they had their parents' dramas and uh, I, I I just want to, to to show them the way to 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 examine themselves and find the, the way to live in peace and to um, empathize to 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 identify with uh, with each other you know and uh, I, I let's say that I feel grateful that uh, I I broke this chain my mothers and my daughters and I'm. I'm at the middle of them, but feeling good because I did something, and it's not only the it's not only the movie. It's it's something it's it's something bigger than this. And uh, well, you know, success so always brings a, uh, uh, is always followed uh, with contentment. It, they go together, and I think both of you are content, and that's a wonderful feeling because you know that uh, it's the result of hard work, and and uh, intelligent work. And you've managed that uh, brilliantly, and and that's that's a tribute to all three of you. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you again for so your much. time and for your, the film. And I wish you. I know Mary agrees with me. I'm certain every success in the future. And uh, thank on... you that you put me together with Cariofilia. I have so many days to see her. I've missed <laughs> her, and now I'm seeing my. I'm seeing. I'm looking at my our hands. She is doing this, the very same movements with me. So she is a sister to me. And I have missed her so much that I'm so glad you, you put us together. Thank you. Well, that's good. We, we'll let's do it again. <laughs> uh, yes. And you've created something. Uh, and wait, 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 wait uh, do, do, uh, looking forward to see to come to New York. It's my favorite. I'd love I, to I, have I, you. I, Absolutely. I would love to see you here. That would be thank you again. Come. Something to look forward to for all yes, of us. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much Please, for please. your wishes and thank for. You. Thank you. This is a <laughs> true you. masterpiece all yeah. around. So yeah. we thank you for creating something so extraordinary on every level of filmmaking, on every level of filmmaking. So thank you. Thank Be you. well. Thanks. Bye.